moment that I could, that I found out what horses were. I guess I was like two, um, but I just, I watched a lot of cartoons with horses in them, I guess, and that's all it took to plant the seed in my mind, and I just took it and ran with it, started riding, doing lessons when I was five, and I just never stopped. A 91-acre horse boarding facility, Calathea Farm is a true gem in the urban development of Potomac, Maryland. My name is Brooke Brown and I am the barn manager here at Calathea Farm and I've been here about three years now. Well, I'm, I'm Irish and Italian and Czechoslovakian. I came from Frederick, born and raised there, so moved here for the job three years ago, just about. As the barn manager, Brooke's job is to keep the barn clean and safe. And I work the same day, uh, Monday through Saturday. My alarm goes off at 6 and I get moving and I come down to the barn at 6.30 and clean the stalls and uh, then my co-worker shows up at 7 and we set up the barn for bringing the horses in so we'll put hay in the stall, grain, fresh water. Looking nice and fresh. And uh, then we'll go together and get all the horses and bring them in and get them all snuggled into their stalls and um, once they're all in we just sweep up the barn to make it look nice and then that's it. I had worked at so many barns um, as a barn manager that it really burnt me out because it was just, I went through like a string of really bad barns. I was just jumping from frying pan into the fire, into the pits of hell. It was just my, I just kept picking the worst barns to work at because I didn't really know any people then. I didn't know, you know, what I know now. To do her job, Brooke needs to know the personalities of each horse. When they are hungry, when they are hurt, Hi, buddy. You gonna let me catch you? or when they are sick. So this is just an oral medication and you just, it's extra long because you can put it a little farther back in their mouths, try to get it to go straight into their throat and they don't really care for it too much so try to make it quick. So I'm going to wedge this in, reach back, inject, and then just hold his head up till he swallows it all, which can sometimes take a minute, sometimes shake their head, make them want to swallow it. <laughs> I've always been a daddy's girl and my dad's just about, he's just tough as nails. Tough as nails and really doesn't show a whole lot of weakness or emotion or anything like that. And I think I just grew up to have thick skin and a lot of drive just like him. Stay back. This busy barn operation goes on 24-7 regardless of snow, rain, or slippery mud. The mud is way worse than the snow in my opinion. It is terrible. I mean, it's you get sucked in and it just seeps into your shoes and becomes pretty messy. Although Brooke hates the mud, she finds beauty in the barn. When there's no one here and I can hear nothing but silence and um, like usually late at night when you can't hear the cars, even though the road's pretty far. Uh, like I like to sit on my porch at like 1 a.m. And it's a clear sky and there's, it's just like dead quiet and I can sometimes hear the Sino Canal water mm -hmm. and it's just like, just to sit back, that's beautiful to me. And uh, especially when the moon's bright and you can see the horses in the fields from the moonlight, that's beautiful. All right, now you can go. This is Margaret Coliani reporting.